Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be with Mahesh. Today I wanted to share some updates on the Professional Cloud Architect exam where from tomorrow onwards, uh, that is 1st of May 2021, we are going to get uh, a new content. Uh, so if you are planning to take the exam starting from tomorrow, so do expect to have some new content, new case studies, all those things. So I guess we are in a very few hours left to see the new content. And for folks who are watching my YouTube channel uh, for a while, you'd be aware that the last time the content was updated was on 9th of November 2018. So there's a video on that also. I can put it in the description. You can look into it. So that's past. So that's of no use, I would say. So the thing is that uh, from tomorrow onwards, so you're going to get some new content. So questions on new concepts would be there, basically, is my understanding. So just wanted to give you some... Uh, insights into that so let's get started all right we are in the official website uh, cloud.google.com slash certification slash guide slash professional cloud architect so if i just refresh it just wanted to show you that it's the up-to-date content which i am trying to show you so here if you see they have mentioned uh, so Till this time, so it was always uh, three case studies. So Mounted Games, Draswa, Wind, Theram, Earth. So the last time when the content was updated on 9th of November 2018, there was one more case study called as Jenko Mat that was dropped and slight modifications happened in these three case studies. Now from tomorrow onwards, it is very clearly mentioned, review the case studies that may come up in the upcoming version of Professional Cloud Architect uh, exam starting from May 1st, 2021. So there are four case studies. Uh, one important thing is, please just don't go by the name. Mountain Games, Theramad. Just because you see the names, it does not mean the content is same. So if you just look into Mountain Games case study, the older version of it. So what you see is basically, the focus is more towards managed instance group, all those things. So and same is the case with uh, Teramath. So the focus, they give you a very huge volume of data, all those things. So the questions are would be more related to IoT code, those kind of stuffs. Uh, uh, not much about compute options were discussed. So, but the new case study, which is going to come from, maybe the name are same, name is same, but uh, the content is totally new. I've heard many people saying that uh, only two new case studies are added. If you ask me, I would say four case studies are newly added. So the names are same. So if I go to Mount Rick Games, basically, uh, at least the good part is all the case studies are only three pagers. So if you look into this case study, basically, uh, what you will be able to see it is the name is same, but the content, all those things are totally new. So the focus is more towards uh, uh, first shooter person games. And the most important thing is they very clearly mentioned in the case study itself, they want Kubernetes cluster, uh, Kubernetes engine, spanner. So totally a new content. So if you just look into it, you will not be able to even see it. What I would suggest is uh, if you have prepared already, forget basically the older stuffs. So that's going to basically create confusions only. So Basically, this is all into focusing more towards Kubernetes. A GKE is what it indicates. So moving on to the other case study, Theram Earth. So if you look into it, so Theram Earth, basically here, they have reduced the number of uh, the number of devices or the number of vehicles. So if you see the older one, it mentions 20 million Theram Earth. So here, Basically, it is only 2 million, which is more realistic, I would say. And the focus is more towards uh, containers. So if you just search for container, you will see that. But if I see it in the older case study of Theram Earth, if I search for uh, container, I don't get it. I don't get it. So even second case study, the Theram Earth case study is more towards uh, containers. And they explicitly mention about CI CD process. Something like either use Jenkins or Cloud Build. So, so there are a few videos which I've already posted. I can put that in the description if you wanted to know those things. So basically, second case study 
even though the name is same uh, the name is same but the content is totally new so content is totally new so don't just go by the name folks so need to spend some time to uh, understand the concept and try to do a mapping the next two more case study which is totally brand new um, so eh healthcare so if you look into it even here the focus if you look into it uh, slowly goes towards uh, containerization so spend some time you see that here they very clearly mentioned it kubernetes so have containerized it so this is also on kubernetes going to the last but the last one so if i go to helicopter racing um if i just little zoom this so they talk about this is more like how you have f1 car racing so this is like helicopter racing so uh, so <laughs> nice interesting case study there so uh, here they also talk about what kind of stuffs they want this case study i have seen concepts are more towards machine learning so which is an indication that uh, even though as a cloud architect uh, usually machine learning stuffs are going to be more focused by data engineers and machine learning engineers as a cloud architect if you know a little bit uh, a high level understanding is good enough is what i felt but here the case study is more towards uh, little more towards machine learning stuffs so and also i remember um, they I, if i had remembered it properly so they were talking about tensorflow running on stuffs on compute engine so uh, i let me see is there any container stuffs uh, remember there was something so okay uh, not not maybe i have to look into it but uh, <clears throat> the the focus more on this one is more towards machine learning so uh, at a quick overview so I had seen it once so more on machine learning so the key part is which i wanted to convey is please don't take it as only two case studies totally four brand new case studies the name may be same it may be misleading actually i would say uh, but it's totally a uh, brand new or people who have read mount quick games in the past if you look this mount quick game uh, stuff it looks like more like a modernization so from on premise or so from other cloud actually mount quick games was in other clouds so they came to gcp but when they came into gcp in the first phase it was more towards compute engine so in the new case study which you see it looks like an extension or like the next phase of it so you are already in cloud you are already using virtual machines or managed instance group basically what is the next thing so you want to modernize it so you go with kubernetes so if you want to relate it like that that is one way or if you feel okay let me not even think of the older case study just directly go into it so you will see the focus is more towards kubernetes engine so gke um, so that's what indicates spanner stuffs are going to be there so the key takeaway which i think is focus more towards kubernetes at least out of three four three are focusing on kubernetes so you should know in and out about kubernetes is an indication which it gives basically and there's one more product actually which you will i guess uh, none of the official materials currently uh, share that information basically so if you look into mount quick games basically uh, the newer version of thing where it is going to have a first person shooter game experience um, so uh, i'm planning to do this as my 250th video so this is my 249th video so uh, expect uh, maybe in couple of days a video where we will see a live demo of how to use a, a first person shooter game using gcp which behind the scene is going to use gke there's going to be a component called as game server which is going to be heavily used in this so uh, in couple of days you should be expecting a video uh, in the channel uh, on this and you will also see a live demo so uh, that's an important thing so a game server is a, a new component maybe i can just search it gcp game server this is an important product uh, per my understanding none of the official materials even talks about it so but the mount quick games expects you to know a good exposure on what is game server this is based on 
uh, Agonus, so which is an open source game server, which again was created or open source by Google. So our good amount of contribution is done by Google. So it's on this. And there are good amount of Google Next videos on game server. If you want, you can refer to that. So that could be a good choice. I had referred to those things only. Only then I was able to get this game server concept. So there's a good amount of uh, videos available there. So that's one thing. So the key takeaway which I wanted to say is new case studies. So apart from case studies, what else would you expect? Uh, if you look into these details, the content remains the same. So there's not much changes to the other parts. So exam guide, I heavily relied on this. Uh, so I was expecting some changes would be there. But looking into the content, I see it is almost the same. Nothing has been changed or maybe it is not updated. I'm not sure. So uh, what you can expect uh, basically is uh, last time it was 2018, uh, November 2018, the content was updated. Now it's updated now. So it's almost like two, two and a half years more than that or close to two years, I would say. Uh, the lots of products which came. Anthos came into picture, Istio came into picture, then uh, Service Mesh came into picture, Data Fusion came, Cloud Run came, uh, Stack Driver became uh, Cloud Operations, Data Store became uh, Fire Store. So you have lots of stuffs. Even I have highlighted that in one of my videos. Uh, so, um, so lots of content has come. So you may expect uh, uh, questions on that is my understanding basically because these products are almost more than one uh, more than a uh, one year old products now. So most of them are generally available. So you may expect it. So, but I'm not sure because the content here does not indicate anything much about uh, on those things. So maybe we have to wait and watch if uh, somebody takes up an exam and they share their thoughts, okay, um, um, concepts on these things or they're also came, coming into picture. Maybe I would say uh, prefer to uh, update your stuff. So don't be in a hurry. Uh, if you have taken the content, uh, the older content from any of the course materials, uh, make sure you update yourself. Um, I would say uh, a wait and watch kind of a mode is going to be helpful to at least to get to know whether questions on Anthos, how do you do basically hybrid uh, work on hybrid cloud kind of stuff, Istio, all those things could be important because uh, uh, most of the official course materials does not really share information much on these things, data fusion, all those things. So uh, I would say a wait and watch mode at least for a week. Uh, see if somebody takes an exam and they comment on it, maybe update yourself. Uh, you have the option of say if you have uh, planned it to be in the month of uh, May, you may have to prepare some more thing uh, and you know in uh, in the Criterion website, you can go and pre uh, postpone it uh, just 27, sorry, uh, 72 hours before. If you go and uh, extend, uh, postpone it, you will be able to postpone it. So make sure uh, you update your concepts up to date. So one last thing which I wanted to do is uh, most of the videos which I had in my channel and there was a playlist also. Uh, so as I mentioned, this is. The one which I'm doing is my 249th video. So as a uh, 250th video, I want to do on that first person shooter game video. So expect a video on that soon. So this case study. So this case study was if I open it in a new tab. So there were around a good amount of views. Thanks a lot for all the support. So around 30 plus videos were there. So which was basically on Mount Games, Just for Win and Teramath. So what I would suggest in simple terms is I have to edit this. I have to put this basically deprecated. This is the indication. So all these videos are or concepts are going to be deprecated. So if you are referring to it for your knowledge purpose, you can refer it, but don't expect uh, questions related to this. So this is, I would say end of life. So it's deprecated. So uh, if I just go and refresh it, it should be reflecting it basically. So just wanted to share. So I don't want to convey a wrong message uh, about the case studies. So uh, so it's deprecated. So at least the case study you should be whenever you see any case studies, which is not up to date. Uh, it's basically going to be deprecated. So um, so refer to the 
PDF document, the, the latest PDF document and make sure you understand the concept and focus more towards containerization, Kubernetes uh, is the key part, is the key part. So that's the video which I wanted to share today, folks. Uh, hope it is helpful. Uh, do expect few updates, few concepts related to the new stuffs, uh, new case studies soon on, in my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.